Hey, it's nice when you can hear me, right? <laughs> Welcome to Build and Burn. Um, today is a low impact class, okay? So think uh, functional strength, so lunges, squats, things like that, um, that are uh, movements that apply to our, our daily lives, right? So things we need to be able to do, balance, lifting overhead. Um, good news is that those things burn lots of calories, make us stronger and more functional. And we want to get stronger so we can up our game, right? We want to ramp up and be able to do, um, you know, bigger things perhaps than we're able to do now. So that's what today is all about. Let's go ahead and restart start our music <laughs> and we will get going here we go all right like i said we're going to be doing some squats and lunges so what better way to warm up for those than by actually doing them let's take a light squat we're going to stay up high and then up press those arms back and out hands together squat maybe a little bit lower up and out push them out Push them out. Good. Again, squat lower. Push them out. Way back. I want you to really push those arms back. Good. Squat and up and out. Good, good, good. Let's keep that moving. Squat down. Push it out. Excellent. Excellent. And now we're going to take a nice deep squat. Way down. Oh, way down, way down. Just hang out there for a moment. Bring it back up. Push those arms out. All right. Let's bring it down to the floor. Bring it all the way down. Hands and knees quadruped position here. And I'm going to push my hips through down toward the floor. I'm going to hang out here for a second. If you need to be lower, if you need to be down here, that's okay as well. But I want to work on that extension. All right, pushing back. Good, good, good. And now let's bring it back into a child's pose. All the way back, push those hips back toward the heels. Press the chest down. Arms are outstretched. Good. Stay there while I get our timer set up here. Good, good, good. Hang out there. And we're going to push it back up and through. Okay, back into that cobra pose if you're uh, into yoga. <laughs> ah, good. Lay it all the way down. Let's roll it over. Good. Onto the back. Knees bent, feet flat. And now we're just going to rock those hips back and forth, or the knees back and forth. All right, over to the right. Keep both shoulders down. Over to the left. Good. Good. Rock it over to the right. Over to the left. One more time. Over to the right. over to the left good 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 let's turn it over again up we go to the hands and the knees all right let's take this right arm i'm going to take it and thread it through push it through and lay down onto that right shoulder Hang out here for a moment. Good, good, good. Now let's bring that back through. Let's get to the other side. Thread that opposite arm through. Lay into that shoulder. Very good. Go ahead and lay flat here, all the way down. Stretch out that arm to the side, left arm to the side. Other hand is in the push-up position. We're gonna push into that outstretched arm. 
nice and easy, nice and light, and then relax. And again, push in and relax. Easy, easy, easy. All right, nice and gentle. Let's do the other side. Bring that arm in, stretch out the opposite arm, and push toward that outstretched arm. Nice and easy, right? We're not forcing the issue here. And relax it, and push. And relax. And push. And relax. And push. And let's get going. I've got my dumbbells here today. Okay, we're gonna be using those a bit, so have those nearby if you've got them. Those cans of soup out, <laughs> all right? And we're gonna start with, we're gonna be working for 30 seconds at a time. We're gonna start with some overhead presses, okay? And then we're gonna do some log steps, and I'll show you what that looks like. But let's get those dumbbells ready to go. I'll show you as we go. Let's get them racked up. Three, two, one. Dumbbells are here. Let's squat down. Nice and easy, press up and overhead. If your dumbbells are too heavy for this, get rid of them. It's okay. <laughs> Grab those cans of soup, maybe. Okay, squatting up and overhead. Look at my squat. When I squat down, right, notice my back does not curl. I'm not doing this, okay? I'm here, up and overhead, okay? If you can't do it safely, then just bring it halfway down instead. Very good, that's that. We're gonna take that log step, here we go. Like we're stepping over a log. Three, two, one, step, 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 right? High knee, high knee, high knee, high knee, All right? Okay, we've got it. Hip mobility, good, keep it going, keep it going, boom, boom. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Let's grab those dumbbells again. Let's squat, push it overhead. Here we are. Three, two, one. Squat, up and overhead. Good. Okay, again, if a deep squat is not in your wheelhouse right now, that is totally fine. Okay, we might just be here and up and here and up and that's okay but when you squat push your butt back good good we're right there three two one overhead again i'm sorry over the log again <laughs> here we go step 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 keep that going keep that going if you want to move faster, you can. Step, 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 step. Keep that moving. Ah, boom, boom. Nice high knees, though. That's the idea. Boom, boom, boom. All right, very good. Now, you can, we're gonna switch exercises here. You can use your dumbbells, but if you don't want to, or if they're too heavy for this, that's okay. We're gonna do some reverse flies here. I'm gonna squat down, push my butt back, okay? And following me, straight arms out to the sides. All right, looks like this, straight out. If that is too hard, you can row instead. Just pull them up, pull them up, all right? And that looks more like this, boom, boom. But I want you to challenge yourself. If you're able to do this, but it's challenging, that's where I want you to be. Good, good. All right, three, two, one. Down they go. We're gonna take some belt kick. All right, so I'm going to, like I'm holding my belt, squat, kick, squat, kick. It's a light squat, little mini squat. Boom, 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 boom. Kick, and kick, and kick, and kick. If you're not able to get that knee up high and kick, that's okay, you can kick. Use a straight leg if you need to, all right? Squat and kick, squat and kick. Boom, boom, good, two, one. Grab those dumbbells. We're gonna do it one more time. Let's go, squat down, fly if possible. 
row if you need to. Okay, if you can fly, I want you to do these flies. Even if it means putting your dumbbells down. Good, good, good. There you go. We're all just building up. Good, keep it moving, keep it moving. Almost there, two, and one. Back into those kicks. Let's go. Holding on to that belt. Squat it down. Kick. Squat. Kick. Boom. 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 Remember, even with that mini squat, the butt goes back, hips go back. I squat, kick. Squat, kick. I'm not arching my back. Okay. Good. Good. Whenever I squat, I push my belly button forward. It might sound a little bit weird, but it's what I do. <laughs> All right, very good. Next, we're going to come down to the floor. We're going to do some swimmers here. Lay it down. Flat, here we go. Arms out in front of us. And I'm going to lift my right arm, left leg, and switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. Good. Keep that going. Keep that going. Good. 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 Almost there. Good. Switch and switch and switch and switch. And three, two, one. Roll it over onto your back. Point the hands toward the ceiling and lift your head and shoulders up and then back down and up and down okay look at my arms and they're going up and down like spears i'm not waving i'm not doing this lift straight up like you're trying to poke holes in the ceiling directly above your face good nice and slow up slowly down slowly three two one over we go do those swimmers again. Good. You see what's going on, right? Back <laughs> and abs. Good. Work that back. Okay, that posterior chain, super, super important. You got to work it and make it stronger because it supports you in a big way. I know whenever people have, whenever we have back issues, we talk about the core, and for whatever reason, the posterior portion of the core gets ignored, and that is a big problem. Over we go. One more time. Point those hands up. Lift, lift, lift. Down, down, down. Remember, hands like spears. Straight up. Lift, lift. Down, down, down. Good. Up, up, up. Please make sure you are breathing, breathing, breathing. Take a breath in. Exhale as you lift 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 and down 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 breathe in and lift 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 exhaling down 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 very good piece of cake right no problem here we go we're gonna do some knee push-ups here okay oh wait no we're not i'm just kidding we're doing a side lunge <laughs> i got ahead of myself out we go all right big step out i'm going to lunge out and up and that's it. Lunge to the side and up. Might be a mini lunge, might be small. Okay, I'm gonna give myself a little more room here. And over, and over. Good, okay? Doesn't have to be a really hard movement, but if you can, you can lean way over that leg, right? I can lean way over. I can slide my hands down the leg, touch the ankle and come up. That might be a little much right now, and <laughs> that's okay. Let's get to the other side. We don't have to come all the way down, way over this leg. Okay, you can come part way down and up. Just bend that knee. Remember, you do kind of need to push that butt back a little bit as we do this, sort of like a squat. Here and up. Okay, I might be coming down further than you are comfortable. You can just come here and up and here and up, and that's fine. Okay, we're just working with what we've got. Good. And three two, one. Other side. Back to that original side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lunge it over and up. Let's 
show you what this looks like from the side, right? From here, right? You see those hips go back, shoulders come forward, but I'm pushing the belly button forward, if anything. Okay, good, good, good. All right, that opposite knee, by the way, is not locked. Okay, it's close. It's very, what you might call a soft lock. Okay, but it's still active. Here we go. Quick break, other side, let's go. Coming down and up and down and up. Okay, functional stuff. Your profession might require you get into awkward positions sometimes. Okay, this kind of thing, being able to weight bear dominantly predominantly on one leg really really important keep that up three two and one all right moving on again here we are all right just making sure uh bird dogs we're coming down to the floor <laughs> down to the floor hands and knees left arm right leg down and switch right arm left leg down and switch. Left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg. Keep that going. Try to really extend that leg back. Push that foot back like you're trying to kick a hole in the wall. Oh. Good. Keep that going. Keep that going. And here we are. Now, we're going to turn over. We're going to do some abs here. Hands behind the head. I don't want you pulling up. We're just gonna take those legs and lift and lift. If you can keep them both off the floor, that's great. If not, that's okay. Rest the leg, rest the leg, okay? Boom, boom, boom. Good, good. Keep that going. Again, if you rest the leg when you put it down, that straight leg, that's totally fine. Two, one. Rolling it back over. And bird dog. Extend and switch. Extend and switch. Keep that going. Keep that going. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Keeping it moving. Keeping it moving and three, and two, and one. Back over. Let's bicycle those legs, and go. Kick, and kick, bring that knee in. Nice and easy. Again, if you need to rest that leg, when you extend it, that's fine. Okay, if you can keep it up, that's awesome, but it's hard. <laughs> Good. Keep that going. Almost there. Almost there. Three, two. I was a little ahead of myself. One. <laughs> Very good. Up we go now. <sighs> Let's go. We're going to do some standing marching mountain climbers here. We got a couple of seconds. Looks like this. One arm up, opposite leg, and then we switch. Boom. Boom. Let's go. Following me here and here and here. And here, we're gonna bring it down to the floor in a second. Good, going, going, going. Very good, very good. Keep that moving, keep that moving. High knee, high knee, step, and step, and step, and step, good. Keep it going, three, two, one. Let's come down to the floor. Let's do some plank ups. Here we are. I'm in the quadruped position, and now I'm just going to lift my knees and bring them back down. If you can hold a plank, that's awesome. There are a million different ways to make this more challenging, okay? But if you need this to be a little bit easier, you can lift one leg, one leg, down, down. One leg, one leg, down, down, okay? Or just down and up and down and up good very good up we go again let's go up 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 let's get those mountain climbers step and lift step and lift 
step and lift. If you can go faster, that's awesome. <laughs> Good. Good. High and high. Way up there. Way up there. Boom. 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 That shoulder mobility, that hip mobility. Got to have that. Dynamic balance. Got to have that. Keep it going. Being able to take, take those big steps. Got to be able to do those. Down to the floor. Here we go. Come on. Plank ups. Get in that quadruped position. Lift those knees and bring them right back down. And up. And down. And up. And down. Very good. Very good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Good. Lift it up. Back down. Remember, you can do these one leg at a time if you need to. Lift and down and lift and down. All right. Turning it over. Uh, no, we're not going to turn over yet. I'm just kidding. So shake out those arms. <laughs> shake out those arms. Don't worry. We're turning over in a second. We're going to do some push-ups. Then we're going to do some bridges. Here we go. Knee push-ups. Okay. I'm pushing my hips forward so my back is flat. Right? I'm straight from my knees to my shoulders. I don't have my butt back like this. That doesn't work. Push those hips forward. Lay it down. Push it back up. Lay it down. And back up. Good. Keep it going. Keep it going. I know. I know. Push-ups are hard. They're so important, though. You've got to be able to do this to get yourself up from the floor. Let's roll it over. We're going to get in the bridge position. You have two choices here. You can either just bridge, lift the back, the hips, everything as a unit, or you can come up and bridge and march and march and march and march. I love this. Super, super stabilizing challenge here for the posterior chain, all right? But also some hip mobility. Three, two, and one. Down we go. Rolling over. Back to those push-ups, knee push-ups. Let's get them. Let's go, let's go. Lay it down. Push it up. Everything should hit at the same time, right? Your abdomen, your thighs, fronts of your legs, they should hit all at the same time. Okay? Shouldn't be a situation where your chest is hitting before anything else and your butt's still sticking up. That's no good. Push it down. Everything lays down flat. Okay? I know. It might be a little bit harder that way, but too bad. That's what you got to do. It's important. <laughs> Here we are. Roll it over. And up and bridge. And march. 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 Again, if that's really, really hard for you, just bring it down. Bridge it up. Okay? All the way up. Hold back as a unit, right? The only thing down is my head, shoulders, and my feet. But if you can, I'd like you to march here. Get up and march, and march, and march, and march. Very good. All right, what do we have next? <laughs> we're gonna do some squat to toe raises, then we're gonna come down and lift overhead. So keep those dumbbells nearby, as long as they're nice and light. We're gonna be using those, here we go. We're going to squat down and toe raise, okay? Up onto my toes. Might be kind of hard to see, I know. I can't get too close to the wall so you can see my feet better, but that's what we're doing. Squat, toe raise. It's not even a big squat, so I'm moving nice and fast. Bend and up, bend and up. Get up onto those toes, up onto the toes. Boom, boom. Use those toes, use those toes. Little mini squat, right? I'm not squatting deep, so I want to go fast. Good. Down we go. I'm sitting on my butt. Yay. <laughs> I got my dumbbells. Here we are. Long sit, press overhead. If this is just so hard for you, you can just lay flat, but I want you to practice sitting up, your legs out in front of you, lifting overhead. I know. Why is this so hard? <laughs> if it's hard. You know what that means. Means you need to practice it. Good. Good. All right. Back up we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Up, up, up. And squat, toe raise. 
Toe raise, toe raise. Get them. <laughs> Get those calves. Everyone wants to have good, strong calves. <laughs> going, going, going. Get up onto those toes. Really get up there. Boom. Boom. Get them up. Get them up. Good. Almost there. One more time. Three, two, one. Down we go. Long sit. Dumbbells and press. Let's go. Let's go. Why is this so hard? Because most of us don't have fantastic hip mobility or the sciatic nerve is in the way. Good, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Almost there, three and two and one. Very good. Now it's time to follow me, 15 seconds at a time. Okay, here we are, here we are. I'm gonna set my timer. 15 seconds at a time, following me. Step out, arms out, and up. Hamburger, hot dog. <laughs> Hamburger and hot dog. Here we go, big step out and squat, and up, and squat, and up, and squat, and up. Boom. We've got it, we've got it, we've got it. Piece of cake, three, two, one. Bring it down to the floor. Bring it down. There we go, and push up time, let's go. Lay it down, push up. Lay it down, push up. Good, keep it going, keep it going. Boom, lay it down, push it up. Couple more, lay it down, push it up. Up we go, all the way up with me. We'll take a little bit of a squat. Squat back, and I'm going to step out together. Step out together. So I'm staying low. Staying low. Step together. Step together. If you can move it faster, faster is great. Let's go. Let's go. Step, 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 step. Might feel really hard. Three, two, one. Up we go. We're going to squat down. Walk those hands out, bring it down, walk it out, and walk it right back up. <laughs> if you need to put the knees down, that is fine. Bring those hands down, walk it, put the feet down, and then walk right back out and up. Good, good. Back up. All right, super important mobility to be able to get up and down from the floor like that. All right, let's finish it up. Let's walk down. Out we go. Let's roll it over onto our backs. <sighs> Arms out to the sides. Knees bent, feet flat. And let's rock the knees over to the right side. I know my camera's mirrored, so it doesn't look like the right side. <laughs> Good. And now extend that top leg out there. Reach out to the side with that, that foot. Good. If you want to, you can grab that leg Give it a little gentle pull, up to you. Definitely not mandatory. Good, let's just hang out here for a moment. We're gonna go ahead and bend that knee. Rock them over to the opposite side. Nice and easy. Now extend that top leg. Move a little bit. There we are. Good. Extend that top leg. You can just let gravity do its thing here. If you want, you can grab that leg. Give it a little extra pull if you are so inclined. 
Good stuff. Good stuff. I love feeling that stretch down in the top of the glutes. You might feel it down in your, your leg. You might feel it all the way down your leg. That is a nerve that you're feeling. A long one. <laughs> and it's, it's okay. That's all right. It's good to work on that nerve mobility. Good. Let's go ahead and bend that knee. Bring it back. Stack it on top of the opposite leg. And let's rock it back and forth a couple of times. Over to the right. Over to the left. Good. Over to the right. Over to the left. To the center. Let's go ahead and roll it over. Up we go. Feet nice and wide. Let's go ahead and bring it down, squatting low, hands to the floor. And now keeping the hands there, extend those knees. Okay, keep the hands on the floor. Extend the knees as much as you can without it being, you know, agonizing. <laughs> Good. And now let's go ahead and release the hands, straighten out those legs, those knees. Let the head and the arms hang down. Nice and easy here. Now let's slowly uncurl it one vertebrae at a time. Slowly unrolling up. Hands together in front of the chest. Take a little teeny squat and push those hands up and through. Ah, look up and back. Circle those arms around. Big, huge circle. Exhale. And let's enjoy the rest of our day. All right, thanks for being here. If you feel like it's time for a new challenge, we've got some other classes as well. Check out our schedule. We've got some yoga on Mondays with Beth, super fun. She also does combat and um, uh, um, fit pump. <laughs> so that one's a little, uh, a little more high energy, right? This is a nice mellow class. If you want something that's a little more upbeat, we've got that for you as well. Eden has kickboxing as well. So check out our schedule. And until I see you again, be healthy, be well, and I love you. Cheers.